it is finally here guys cod mobile beta is finally in a state that people could actually play it for a decent amount of time only downside to it is you could only play it on android so all you ios people out there i guess you're just out of luck unless you have a computer i'm hacks and i'm going to be showing you how to actually set up an android emulator on your pc on your mac to actually run cod mobile so even if you do not have an android uh, device yourself you can still play the game you can still get a brief experience of what it will be like uh before the actual official launch which should be next month so starting off here as you see i have it right here on my android emulator uh this is my pc uh as you see in the entire screen and we have COD Mobile. Everything works pretty well. I was even doing a stream earlier today uh, and I was able to record some content out of that. So I'll probably post that a bit later. Um, but how do, you, how do you get it to this point? How do you make it so you can, it's actually playable? Well, let's start off from the beginning since a lot of people are probably confused on how to get all this stuff set up uh, to begin with. Now, starting off, you will need a Android emulator for PC. I personally recommend um, Nox Player. Uh, their website is noxofficial.com. Uh, I just like their support and I like uh, how they have the setup for it. As you see, they have Nox for Windows and they have Nox for Mac. So you could use this on either of those platforms. After you download the emulator, uh, you'd want to actually go into the emulator itself. So as you see on my desktop, it installed the default icon, multi-drive. You could also use the, the other one that just has Knox, but um, I recommend doing multi-drive because it gives you a bit more options to configure uh, right away. Now, I have a lot of different emulators running, uh, or I have a lot of different emulators set up for different games, um, but you guys probably will have nothing when you actually open up the multi, uh, the multi-drive for Knox. What you would want to do is click Add Emulator, Click on Android 7.1.2. It will actually install a brand new emulator, as you see right here, down here. You can name it whatever you want, but for example, we're going to say uh, COD Mobile uh, Install. I'll just call it that for now. So this is the COD Mobile Install. Uh, before you launch the emulator, what I would recommend at least is setting it to high, uh, which is four uh, CPU cores and at least three gigs of RAM. Um, some people might not be able to run it on high depending on what type of computer they have, uh, but it's at least the, the recommended one I would give you since that's the easiest way to run it. Um, and for graphics rendering mode, uh, I would recommend DirectX. I've had a lot better luck with running it with DirectX, um, but you might have uh, different options or different luck uh, with the OpenGL. Uh, versions. So I'll just put it on DirectX for now um, and I'll save it with that and launch the emulator. So the emulator is going to launch all, all fine. It should only take a few moments depending on how fast your computer is. Um, there's also a few other files that you'll need to download before you actually uh, have this game fully installed. You could download them either straight from the emulator or you could download them onto your computer. Um, for the sake of, of this video, I'll just show you how to do it from both methods. As you see, I have all the files already here in one folder that I would need for this uh, need for this COD mobile to work. Uh, but I'll also show you how to get those same files from the, uh, from the emulator itself in case you don't want to actually download it straight to your computer. Now, the links... Uh, I'll be providing are actually coming straight from COD Mobile Leaks. So I recommend checking out their Twitter page. Uh, they've been on top of getting out all this, uh, all this new information and all these files. Uh, so everyone can play a bit earlier than the actual official release. Uh, as you see in their pinned tweet, they have the APK file and they have the OBB file, which is the data file for the COD Mobile. First off, we're going to download both the APK and the OBB file. And like I said, you could do this from either uh, you could do it from either your PC or you could do it from the actual uh, emulator itself. So if I go here and I just type in Twitter, not now, 
So you, you could just download them straight from the, the emulator if you just go into the browser and use the link. So you would download the APK, you download the OBB file. Um, if you downloaded them straight to your computer, it's a slightly different method. So let me just show you guys that right now. Um, first, you would need to actually go into your emulator, go into a maze if you're using Nox. If you're using like ES, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty similar. It's just whatever file explorer that you have, you go into Android, uh, you see a data folder. Where you see the data folder, you click a new folder, type in OBB if you don't have an OBB folder already. Inside the OBB folder, you'd create another folder called com dot activision dot call of duty dot com and uh, not com uh oh geez guys i'm messing up dot shooter it's almost like a website but it's not a website now once you have this file right or this folder right here this is where the obb uh that you just downloaded from that twitter page from that mega uh will be going so for example, I'm gonna have to drag it over. I'll have to root the emulator uh, since I'm just dragging it from my PC, but that's fine. I'll just quickly restart the emulator so I could do the root. I'll have to reload. You could you could do the root before you actually uh, do the entire setup, but I'm, I'm just trying to keep this in like steps. All right, so since this is now rooted, I can go and drag my file in. I'll make sure to allow this having a super user access. Android OBB com.activision.callduty.shooter. Drag in that file. You open the PC folder. So as you see, I have it in my Nox share folder. So make sure the file is actually in this folder if you want to bring it to the emulator. Then you click on open the Nox player folder. And as you see, it has the copy of the OBB. Let me quickly rename it though, uh, just so it doesn't have the copy at the end of it. There we go. We're gonna actually now copy this over or I'll just cut it. We're gonna go back to storage, Android, OBB, and we're gonna paste it into this folder. Now, at least for uh, this file manager, it might take some time for it to actually appear. Recommend you're just refreshing it a few times. And when you open it up, click on properties. Make sure it says it's uh, at least 1.31 gigabytes uh, in, in size. So it might take some time depending on how fast your computer is, like I'm saying. Once it actually gets up to that size of uh, 1.3 gigabytes, you should be good to actually finish the rest of the steps. As you see, it might take some time for it to actually transfer all the files over to here. It's not the best file explorer uh, that it comes with by default because it doesn't actually tell you when it's done transferring the file. Uh, but it, it's good enough to, to get the job done for this. Now, now that you have that there, what do you do next? I recommend uh, installing a VPN right away. Um, the easiest one I have found to use would be Kiwi VPN, uh, also stated by COD Mobile Leaks. So th shout out to them. Uh, you can just find it by going to Kiwi VPN APK. You could just find it this way, honestly. It's, it's the fastest way to download the APK. You could download it straight from the Google Play Store. Um, or you could just download it from an APK website like APK Pure. I already have it in my, my folder of stuff, so I'm just going to drag it over and install it that way. And so my VPN is there. Now that my VPN is there, and now that the data is fully uh, transferred over into that other folder, we can drag in our Call of Duty APK to install that. Now you know that you did the Call of Duty one properly. If you bring it to information, if you check the app information and it says the storage is using 1.52 gigabytes, that means the OBB file is getting properly read by the app. And that means if you do actually open it, it will have all the app data. Now, before we open the Call of Duty app, we'll be opening up the VPN and we'll be running the VPN to India. That is currently one of the regions where the open beta is available. Uh, if you guys know any other uh, regions that is open, uh, please just let me know down in the comments below and it'll at least give people other options to connect to if, uh, if the ping may be too high from the one region that is available currently. So we, we're going to go from best choice. 
going to look at their list of servers. Click on India. There's a lot of ads on this VPN, but you know, it's a free VPN. You can't really uh, complain too much. Once we confirmed it connected, as you see right here, we can close out of that. And we should be good to go to launch our Call of Duty mobile. So as you see right here, we are launching COD mobile. It may take a few seconds to load up all the stuff. And you would be good to go in terms of actually having the app set up on your device. Now for PC only, um, there is some additional setup that you can do, uh, PC and Mac. So if you're playing this on an emulator, there is some additional setup that you can do. Um, that is for making it so you can actually play the game with the, the keyboard. Uh, by default, by default, it's not like it's gonna work with mouse and keyboard. You actually have to assign, uh, assign values to it. So if you click on this keyboard icon in the top right corner, it will give you this uh, layout. Oh, it looks like my, my game actually just crashed right there. So let's uh, quickly close that out, reopen it. I hope it doesn't crash again. Okay, so going back, it will open up this uh, layout. So we have the, the WASD controls for actually moving around. You could just, what you do is you take it and you just drag it out and it will move the, the icon. You could resize it to however big the, uh, the wheel is. You have one, two, three. This is where I put the uh, the kill, this is where the kill streaks are. Um, I have these two for actually changing weapons. This is for the aim. Pretty much, it's just it's just dragging the controls over and assigning them to the proper values. So, for example, for the shooter one, you drag the shooter one over uh, to the center of the screen, wherever the center of the screen is. It's a lot easier to do it actually once you're into a game. Um, then you have all the other icons, you just drag a button. So for example, if I want to assign a button here, I could just click on the A, drag it over, I could push on a key, and I'll assign that key to that button. So whenever I push the L button, it'll push right here on my screen. Let me make sure it didn't uh, overwrite my old settings. Cool, cool. Looks like it's good. And now once we actually load in, I'll show you exactly how well this works. And as you see right here, we are already loading into the game. It works perfectly fine. Um, so if you guys are on iOS or if you just have a computer uh, or your Android device is not supported, I just recommend trying this out because it will give you an option to at least play the game. As you see right here, it runs relatively smooth uh, on my end. And this is not even the best settings. By default, it actually locks your frame rate at 40. So this is only 40 FPS. As you see right here in the top corner, it's probably really tiny, but I'll, I'll make sure I, I zoom it in to make it look better for you guys. Um, we can't actually do anything about that until we actually get to our, uh, until we actually get to the point where we actually can actually change our settings. So you have to actually go through the tutorial, um, setting up the Setting up the buttons might be a bit annoying before you actually, because you don't you don't see every single option at first. So you see, I still have uh, some options that don't have any buttons over them. Uh, those buttons only will appear in multiplayer or once the tutorial is done. So we're gonna just make sure these are all done. And this is what I did uh, once I got to like this point into the tutorial. I would actually go to that keyboard thing, make sure I could set up as many of these buttons as possible. And then when you play like a single multiplayer match, set up the rest of the buttons. Um, for the ones that might be a bit more complicated, uh, to keep it so your mouse stays in the center of the screen and so you don't have to like manually drag it, uh, click on the shooting games only option, the crosshair one. What you do is you move it to the center of this crosshairs, at least as best as possible. Um, and you have it set to a key like the down arrow. I just made it the down arrow because it's the simplest arrow and I won't mess it up. So whenever I now, uh, whenever I now actually push the down arrow, as you see right now, I need to actually drag my mouse. If I click the down arrow, it will bind my mouse to the center and I actually just drag it around like normal. I can now aim in on these guys, take them out. All right. And that's pretty much the tutorial, at least for this. 
Oh, not yet. It's Predator almost in the tutorial. And once you actually get to the actual match, getting the rest of the button setups is pretty simple to do. Alright. And that is pretty much it for getting the setup on Android. Showed you all the steps that you need to do to make sure it is working properly. If you do actually get into the game, feel free to add my uh, my temporary username, which is just Haxor, H-A-X-O-R with a capital H, because uh, I will be doing some some streaming stuff and I will be inviting some people to like parties um, during the time this beta is open. Obviously, I'm not going to be playing on on this form 24/7. I really want to I really want to uh, play on the on mobile because it's not like it's perfect uh playing it on pc it, it runs nice at sometimes but it has some flaws that mobiles that mobile probably wouldn't have for example as you see like in the background it's a bit glitchy it's having the flashing but the official release will probably get a lot more ironed out especially since this is just like the end beta phase of the game anyways that is how you set up uh cod mobile on your pc or mac uh if you enjoyed this video feel free to just give it a like. Make sure you do comment down below if you have any problems. I'll try my best to respond and help you out. Um, if you have any, any other issues, just like I said, just comment down below. I'll try to be around as much as possible because I know I was pretty excited for this game. I know a lot of you are also still excited, but you weren't able to access it right away from Android devices because maybe you don't have an Android device or yours wasn't supported. Anyways, that will be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Hacks. Hope you were able to get this working, and I'll see you next time. Peace.